Alright, so I decided to make a video on how to wire up your electric fuel pumps because there's not a whole lot of like really good information, collective information out there as far as how everything really works and coincides with each other. So I did a lot of research and this is pretty much my understanding of it. So, so basically you have your oil pressure sensor switch right here. This de detects the oil pressure and connects these contacts whenever it does. Um, here you got your relay. This is a four prong relay. So basically when you start your engine, you turn the key on to, and you turn the key over to crank. You have current coming from the start circuit solenoid off your starter. It's hot whenever it's cranking. So that current's flowing up through this wire to the S terminal on your oil pressure safety switch. It's normally closed between S and P, so these contacts are connected to each other at all times while the engine's not running. So current's flowing up this wire through P, comes down around, now it activates this relay, this electromagnetic relay in here. Uh, 86 and 85 connect a switch that goes from 30 to 87. And then you have current from your battery coming through your fuse link here up through the relay and then straight on to your uh, fuel pump and your positive. So after your engine starts, now your um, your oil pressure sensor here, it's got, it's got pressure inside of it from the oil and now no, these two contacts are no longer connected. Now the contact switches from S to I. So now I and P are connected and S is just by itself. So now that your engine's running, you have your switched ignition source, it's 12 volts, and it's hot and run. So now your engine's running, you have current going from your ignition source through your ignition switch. These two contacts are now connected. Same thing comes down to your relay. 86 and 85 are your uh, actuating circuit, and that connects your power straight from your battery and into your fuel pump. Now there is another way to do this. A lot of older, uh, you know, style engines or whatever people used to do back in the day, they would just take a, a temporary helm switch, any kind of switch that automatically returns to normally open. It's only normally closed when you push it. They would take a switch and run and jump it from this wire here, coming from your ignition switched, and they would jump it around the switch to your P. So now whenever you turn your key on you have this um, switch ignition source coming through this wire it can't get across here because there's no oil pressure yet remember these two contacts are um, connected while the engines off so in order to bypass this switch you just they would take a wire jump it around to this wire but through a switch another temporary helm switch like up on the dash somewhere so you would you would push that switch and now current would go through this wire jump around the sensor or the switch here the oil pressure switch it would jump around it come in through here to your actuating circuit on your relay which would prime which would allow your fuel pump to run while your engine was off without having to um you know use the starting circuit off the solenoid so i hope that makes sense uh took me a quite a while to figure out what was going on with everything so I hope that really clears things up for you guys have a good one